Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Alberta Canola Producers Commission, SAS Canola, and Manitoba Canola Girl. Welcome to Real Agriculture's Wheat School series. I'm Kara Oosterhouse. In this episode, I talked to Tyler Wist, who is a field crop entomologist with Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada in Saskatoon. Tyler and I talk at Canola Palooza about beneficial insects, as well as the Cereal Aphids Manager app that AAFC is developing with the help of the Pest Management Center. And I'm standing here at our Llewellyn Research Farm with a field of wheat behind me. Now, it's not at the perfect stage yet, for looking for aphids, but they could be there. Right now, I would search for aphids in this field with a sweep net, but pretty soon, you'll be able to have the Serial Aphid Manager app on your smartphone or tablet. So this is being produced by Agriculture Canada through some work that I've been doing. I've developed a, a model that tries to predict the buildup of aphid populations, but the unique thing about this model is that it also talks about the impact that the beneficial insects have on keeping those aphid populations down. So, let me talk about Serial Aphid Manager for a second. So what it will do is you'll take it out to the field and you'll start scouting. First, it's gonna ask you what your crop is. And so if it's not a cereal crop, it's not gonna work because this is for cereal aphids. We're looking for the English grain aphid and the bird cherry oat aphid, sometimes the green bug aphid. But uh, that's all going to be included in here. We've got pictures of the aphids. We've got pictures of beneficials. And what we're going to do is take you through a scouting exercise on the app. So when you get to the field and you tell it that you're in a wheat field, it's going to ask you what stage your wheat is at. So you're going to need to know what the Zadox stage is. So if it's Zadox stage 85 or above, that soft dough stage or above, aphids can't hurt your field anymore. And so the app will say, hey, Go home. Don't worry about it. You don't need to scout your field anymore. So that's step number one. If we're below Zadox stage 85, it'll ask you to scout your field in a W pattern. So you're going to hit four, five points on the W, and at each of those points, you're going to scout aphids on five heads. So after you've done that, and you've walked your W pattern, it'll tell you whether or not you need to keep searching. So most of the time when we recommend uh, looking for aphids in your field, we want you to look at about 100 heads before you make a decision. So it's going to give you the number of aphids per head, but when you're at these five points on the W, it's going to ask you to look around and you're going to actually quantify, so you're going to count the number of beneficial insects that you see too. So if you see ladybugs, pop it in there. If you see ladybug larvae, what does the ladybug larva look like? Well, the app will tell you what the ladybug larva looks like. So it all goes into an equation that's working in the background and um, it'll spit out information at the end. Oftentimes, if you're getting near that, that threshold of 12 to 15 aphids per head, it'll tell you to come back in a day or two because aphid populations can explode fast. So you want to keep on them. So it'll store your data and it'll tell you what your threshold was at the last time you were in your field. And so then you'll know if your population is increasing or decreasing. And so if you don't have a whole lot of beneficial insects in your field, the aphid population can increase rather quickly. So this will be a, a good training tool to teach you how to identify the beneficial insects in your field. So we've got ladybugs, we've got lacewing larvae, minute pirate bugs, and even aphid mummies. So aphid mummies are amazing. Um, they're from an, a parasitoid that lays its eggs inside the aphid Eight days later, that aphid is dead and it hasn't reproduced. So the, uh, the app will uh, include all of that and give you a recommendation. So we are at a stage right now where Serial Aphid Manager is being beta tested. So as soon as we get heads in the field, myself and a team of students and agronomists are going to be out there testing it to make sure we don't have any bugs, pun intended, and uh, see if the app is good to go. And we're, we're going to have it on the Apple operating system and the Android operating system. And maybe, for us government guys, on the BlackBerry system. So, would you like to see how the app works? Right now, field information, Tyler's field. And I'm going to say, start a new assessment. So what it's going to tell me to do is add myself as a new observer. So you can always track who's been doing the observation. In case you've got a summer student or something who doesn't count very well. 
or if I don't trust myself. And we put in the Zadox grow stage. I'm gonna say, what are we at right now? Tillering, stage number two. Put that in there, okay. So, it's gonna let me go on because we're not above stage 85, the soft dough stage. So then we go to sampling point number one. We say, yeah, yeah, we wanna create this observation set. Here's that W pattern. We got the top, we got the bottom. So we're in here. And look, one, two, three different species of aphid that we're looking for in Western Canada. Here's our English grain aphid, bird cherry oat and green bug. Pictures all taken by me. That was pretty fun. And um, so let's say, let's pretend that we've got aphids in this field. So we'll just add a couple like that. There we go. Four English grain aphids on that head. All right, then we move on to the next tiller. Easy, oh, I see a natural enemy. Let's open that up, hey. Seven spotted ladybugs, there we go. Damsel bugs, right, I forgot to talk about those. Raptorial front legs for grabbing aphids. Green lacewing larvae, also called aphid lions, because when they grab an aphid, they shake it like a lion would shake a lamb. There's our minute pirate bugs, brown aphid mummies. We got black aphid mummies representing two different species of parasitoid. Let's say that we've got, there we go, ladybug. Just one, just one, all right. Confirm, let's go back to our observations and let's head to the next tiller. What have we got? Let's say we've got nothing. There we go. Next tiller. Ooh, we got a green bug in there. Punch that green bug in. Just one. Crops in an early stage. Let's keep going. Okay, so we're now going to walk 30 meters to the next sampling point and we move on down in that W. So what this does is it gets you out of the edges of the field, gets you right into your field so that you can sample and make sure that you're checking many different points. If you don't check many different points, you might find a hot spot or you might find a spot where there just aren't very many aphids. So, let's see if we can view a recommendation yet. Yeah, it says, nope, you're not done yet. So, the app will force you to scout in your field um, according to how we want you to scout. It's going to teach you about beneficials and it's going to teach you about the impact of those beneficial insects on your pest population and hopefully we can avoid any kind of spray action that has to happen um, because those insects, the beneficial insects, are taking care of the aphids for you. So you'll be able to find this in the Google Play Store, you'll be able to find it in the Apple Store, free download, nine megabytes in size, and it will store all of your observations, it will store all of your fields. Just make sure to give them different names and you can come back day to day, know what you did yesterday, know what you're gonna do tomorrow, and just keep track of the aphid populations in your series. <laughs>